My name is Catherine Marie Longtemps and I'm a quilter. I am a French Canadian born in Montreal and I learned how to sew for my mother when I was a child. I always loved textiles, but I have taken a very long detour via academia before starting quilting full time. Quilts have the tactile physicality that often separates arts and crafts. When I choose fabrics, I look for good colours, of course, but also for fabrics that have different textures or reflect the light in an interesting way. The main material I use is linen. It's difficult to work with, but it gives me the depth of colour and the texture that I'm looking for for my quilts. When I design my quilts, most of the time it's going to be in full size on a wall, a bit like an oversized collage. Other times it's going to be carefully planned on paper and then I'll print my own patterns. At the beginning of last year, I started using a traditional patchwork technique called English paper piecing. You basically cut out a design out of paper and wrap fabric around each piece and then reassemble them with tiny hand stitches. I take inspiration from abstract art, but also architectural details like tile patterns or the lines of a building. I also always go back to the artists I love long before I became a quilter, like Mark Rothko or Joseph Albers. For my latest collection, I wanted to feature the element of play that is so central to quilting. I've created small artworks that explore the various aspects of patchwork, like colour, texture and pattern. I've included two English paper piecing artwork in this collection. The first one, the colour grid, is a take on Paul Klee's ancient harmony painting. The second one is made out of pre-cut paper hexagons. Hexagon quilts date back from the 18th century when English paper piecing became very popular. I've decided to display the back to showcase the work involved and the texture of the fabrics that I've used. <laughs>